Hola, me llamo Hong. Soy de Vietnam. Greetings. My name is Nguyen Hong Kong and I am from Vietnam. You can call me Danny if it's easier for you. And this is my self-introduction video and I know that it's not requested, but I think that uh, I should be more proactive. And that is one of the qualities in my leadership that I want to demonstrate. I am currently 23 years old, coming up in 24 in August. Uh, and I am so excited to be selected for the 5th Asset Young Leader Summit because it's a wonderful program that connects uh, capable young leaders in Asia and Europe. And that trip to Spain is a bonus that I just cannot ignore because I have always wanted to visit Spain. And that's why I'm currently learning Spanish on Duolingo. And I choose to mention this detail for a purpose. The first thing I want everyone to remember is about me is that I am a big supporter for free and open education. I believe that the future lies within our ability to educate ourselves. Language, uh, sorry, knowledge is power. Uh, therefore, I am so glad to be uh, living in an era where technology has made education more accessible than ever. And salute to Duolingo for a wonderful language learning app with uh, well-made language lessons and very limited advertisements. Uh, that is something I think that our society should try to achieve. Uh, more free education and I hope to see uh, more apps like Duolingo uh, in the future on different topics and I hope I could uh, contribute to that in the future. I have not planned anything in details but that is something that I want to achieve before uh, reaching an old age. Uh, the second thing I want to say is that I am proud to introduce myself as an English teacher. Uh, I teach English to children, students, uh, young adults, workers, whoever needs it. The reason I choose to pursue this career is that I have witnessed and as well as told by many others that my English has given me a lot of benefits. For example, during my years in university, uh, my teachers have complimented me a lot on my English. They were impressed by my ability to read articles in English and speak with foreigners and seek for knowledge that others couldn't. Uh, as much as proud I am uh, uh, with receiving those compliments, I also want to inspire and empower others to do that as well. And that's why I teach English to everyone who needs it. Because here in Vietnam, uh, English is still a key to many opportunities in our lives and our career and I want to help others to achieve their life goals by mastering this language. Uh, yeah, I have participated in a volunteer campaign during the lockdown of the COVID-19 in 2020 and 2021 that uh, taught uh, free English to the public and I found my work extremely meaningful. I believe that every time I teach someone, my work uh, has made a difference in the world. Though small, but I think that in the future it will snowball and do something big and I hope that you can witness that. And so the last thing uh, I want to say is that, I want to, everyone to be members about me is that I am a big time uh, advocate for mental health care. I have a background in psychology and I know how important mental health is, just as well as physical health. Uh, I believe that mental health is still facing many obstacles nowadays, despite the fact that, uh, that there are more support and tools and resources. So yeah, I want to join this program to spread the spirit of kindness and empathy and compassion that we can give unlimitedly to ourselves and others. So thank you for listening and I hope to see you on the 5th ASEAN Young Leaders Summit. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Adios.